Hello everybody. Um, I very recently went to the craft show at Sandown. Um, I think it's called Crafting Live. It's part of Creating Craft. And I know some people can't manage to get there. So I thought I'd do a quick um, unboxing really of the things that I got. I think everything in here came from every craft pen. And what they usually do at the shows is they do 12 items for £10, so it's actually less than every £10, but it's less than a pound an item. And you have to excuse me, I've got my gloves on because my office is freezing cold today. So the first thing I came back was with, with these A6 card blocks. So I thought these would be really good for sort of flower layering dies because if you can see, they've got not just one colour in, they've got different, so this is like the pink selection they had, so they've got all different colours of pink, they're not solid core, I think they're all white core, um, but otherwise I thought they'd come in really handy, so I got the pink, this one is all greys, this one is all reds, this one is, it's sort of blues with a green thrown in there, and a bit of purple, which I thought with the two or three layer flowers with leaves would be a nice change. This is another one that's sort of blues and purples. I think there's some crossover between this and the last one. And then I think this one's all purple. So yeah, it was Every Craft's a Bargain, which I think is part of Every Craft's a Pound. Um, crafting with Josie so she must be part of every crafts bargain uh, and then I got some trifold cards because I've done quite a lot of cross stitch panels and I thought they might be quite good to stick in there or to make them into shakers or something and they were an eight pack of the Dove craft ones and they've got envelopes in there and then this is a slightly more oh no one more thing that I was running out of foam tape, so I grabbed a foam tape. And then these were Daisy B stamps, which you can see they've got a price of £10 on. And I only paid £10 for this whole bag of things. And if you can see, it's sort of love as a shadow, but it's quite a big stamp. You can see that, not too much glare on it. So it's as big as my hand. I've only got little hands. So, And then this one, I just thought the... I think this is meant to be a trunk because this is dinosaur essential, so I guess you're supposed to make palm trees, but I just quite liked the foliage. And they're about the same size as the image on the front. And then this one said sparkle. Again, it's actually quite a big stamp. It's quite a big one. And they're all from Daisy Bee. In fact, this one says £6 on it. I don't think the last one had a price on it, but this one says £6. But it's, again, you know, it's wider than my hand. That one's sparkle, and then this one, these are all tiny little greetings, and it's got dad, great, father, granddad, grandfather, uncle, best, brother, nephew, top guy, husband, father's day, boyfriend, happy birthday, and have a great day, and I thought they'd be great on little tiny banners and things, even if I only used, you know, not the male words, there's still a happy birthday, and I have a great day, and things like that in there. So that was my 12 items for £10. So I think that these, yeah, these were all from Jelly Bean Crafts. So this one is um, pearlescent paper, but it's in a really nice blush pink, and that was a pound for 10 sheets, 120 GSM. So yeah, Jelly Bean Crafts, yeah. So these are all from Jelly Bean Crafts. I think this is the same, but it's more like a champagne creamy pearl. And then I wanted some light grey card just to make card blanks out of. And I thought this was a nice pale light grey. So this was from Jelly Bean Crest. They didn't have a colour name on them, but I think they were all a pound each. And then this is back to the blush papers. This is like a champagne gold again i thought they'd be nice for putting out small sentiments and things but it's kind of pearlescent i topped up my collection of catherine pooler inks so 
I got Tranquil, Over Coffee, Blackjack, which isn't black actually, it's a really nice dark grey, Sugared Lavender, Sparkling Berry, Crushed Violet, Skylight, which seems to have leaked, which isn't great, but that means it must be really juicy, but it wasn't like that when I bought it, so that's happened in the bag where it's been sitting in my craft room for a week, so I'll have to be careful and clean that one up. I'm going to set that one to one side. Oh, and the last one I got, which is Twilight, which is another lovely grey colour, because I didn't have any of the greys from Catherine Pura, and I think they were all £5.50. They say £6.50, but I'm pretty certain they all came out at 5 50 I've got the receipts somewhere I will check that in a sec so that was from dies to die for let me find the receipt yeah they all came oh one of them crushed violet came out at 6 50 and all the rest came out at 5 50 and also from dies to die for I really splashed out and paid full price pretty much for these I just got a hot foil the uh, I did get the Glimmer Hot Foil system and I decided I was going to get some basic sentiments with the dyes that could cut them out as well. So this one is Ebold Glimmer Sentiment. So this has got Hello, Thanks and Happy Birthday in it. And they all cut out separately with the dyes. And I did pay the full £13 that's marked on there. And then this one's really misleading because it looks like it's going to be this, but it's not. It's all little words so I think the packaging on this spellbinders is rubbish just what I got from dice to die for and then I realized they actually had like a sale section um and I got um the ultra new instant rainbow washi tape for four pounds and I think I got um they saved four pounds on them originally but I only paid a pound these whimsy stamps which are actually red rubber stamps, so I have to see how they stamp out. Um, but I got them because my oldest daughter, who's 17, is really into anime, and this one here looks like one of her anime girls from the computer game she plays, like Genshin Impact and things. I don't know enough about it, but so they were from when they were in the sale section, and I think I paid yeah six pounds in total for those three items and that was dies to die for as well from the stamp hut i got three of some of the newer distress oxide inks filling in my collection so i got salt water taffy villain's potion and uncharted mariner and they were 5.95 each a crafty place i think i got but it might have been from the card hut which is what these stamps are made by i got gothic fairy and urban gothic fairy and i think these might have been 10 pounds each or two for 10 pounds i'm not sure but my younger daughter who's 14 nearly 15 she loved these images and she likes to color in the gorgeous girl stamps but she's sort of grown out of those a little bit and she really liked these ones and we even thought that you could chop the wings off quite easily if you didn't want the wings on your image. Even on this one, you could chop the wings off quite easily. And they'd be quite cool gothic style girls. So she loved those. So she didn't come with me because she had a bit of a cold, but she chose them over text message. These were from Carl's Crafts. And these are dyes. So that's the Millennium Falcon. This one is the Star Wars logo, and that one is Groot from um, Guardians of the Galaxy. And again, my younger daughter is a huge fan of both. My husband's a huge fan of Star Wars as well. So I thought we'd have a go at some more manly cards with those as well. And last but not least, I think these ones, I think these ones might have been a, from a crafty place actually. I think the, I think these ones were from the card hut and were £10 each. 
as the show price. And then I think these came from a crafty place. And these are the Cosmic Shimmer Pipsy Dusts. And I think that these ones were £10 for all four of them. I'm guessing from the receipts I've got left. Um, and, I, and I think these are Pixie Burst. So I think there's different brands that are sort of powders that you put on water or spray with water. And they kind of explode and give different patterns. And I thought I'd get some to try to do different kind of florally things to have a go at. And I got one called Wild Moss green jasper, black cherry and very berry and they actually had samples because the colours on the fronts of the bottles weren't anything like the samples with the different colours so I think it was helpful that they had that so that was really good so I thought that's something completely new so I'm going to give those a go so there we go hope you enjoyed that sort of unboxing from a craft fair bye <laughs>